Hello, and welcome, welcome to Hempfield Field Happenings. Happenings. I'm Savannah Miller. And I'm Lizzie Pegg. Actually, can we take a quick break, because I'm getting a little hungry. Well, if you're getting a little hungry, we can get some food right here, just southwest of our hometown Lancaster in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, isn't this the town that's known for the Gettysburg Address and the Abraham Lincoln guy? Well, Gettysburg is known for more than just their historical figures. Oh, well, what else is a small town known for then? While Adams County only contains one-fifth of Lancaster County's population, the small size encourages inclusivity and welcoming everyone in the community. I mean, between these beautiful buildings and all the friendly faces, I do feel pretty welcome here. A goal of Gettysburg is to create a caring community within their small town. Well, let's take a look at how local artists can discover new abilities at a museum that's teaching history through the generations. This and more on this month's episode of Hemfield Happenings. Elementary schoolers to senior citizens, everyone is welcome to this local art studio. Liv Anderson looks into how the studio aims to include everyone. The Adams County Art Council welcomes everyone by providing various opportunities for a diverse range of people. Director of the Art Council, Lisa Cadigan, shares the benefits of the studio and the multiple classes offered. Basically what we do is we reach out to the community for artists, working artists, that were willing to share their skills with other people in the community. So there's always a variety of classes that end up here. Um, right now we're doing some ballet classes, we're doing pottery classes, jewelry making classes, pastels, colored pencils, uh, you name it and we've done it. Andrew Smith is a local artist who is welcomed with open arms to the studio amongst many other artists. Where they don't create barriers for people to be able to show. They have really effective classes where there's tons of different topics, all different age levels, and uh, a lot of the Gettysburg area students attend them, um, reaches across different um, ethnic and minority groups, and a lot of these students come back time after time and take different classes. The Art Council has a lot of great art to display, creating a welcoming experience for all who enter. We definitely want this to always feel like a safe space and a welcoming space. The, one of the best parts about coming to work here every day is that it's a beautiful place. We always have this beautiful creative artwork on our walls. Uh, we have friendly staff at the front desk who know our members by name and who are always encouraging people to get involved. Many come from outside Gettysburg to experience this specific artistic space. People travel from outside. People come over from York County. We're pretty close to Hanover. So geographically, ethnically, racial different groups, different demographics. They have um, grant programs for students that wouldn't necessarily have the money to attend arts classes. So they make a real good um, reach. The love for art is something the Art Council really tries to welcome various types of people to experience. It really is sort of a thematic question, right? Uh, like I said, my goal as executive director is to get people in the area to fall in love with the arts in one way or another. Um, we obviously focus a lot on the visual arts, but the act of creating is so important. Art Council strives to welcome everyone into an environment where new passions can constantly be explored. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Liv Anderson. With Gettysburg being a town so rich in history, educating everybody is a priority. Lindsay Over reports on this museum's unique approach to inclusivity. So behind each of them, probably just something holding their heads, yeah. but behind each of the other ones, something's holding their back and their head. The Children of Gettysburg 1863 Museum is providing opportunities for people of all walks of life to learn and experience the history of the battle. From hands-on activities, whew, man this is heavy, to creative visuals, the experience truly welcomes everyone. So our museum is 
for the children. It really is. It's the children of Gettysburg and that's who we'd like to have come here and learn all about what happened in this lovely town of Gettysburg. Really it's trying to get these kids to understand history can be awesome. History can be, really put you back in time. With just shy of 30,000 patrons since September 4th, 2021, the museum fosters an environment fit for the youngest of historians. Well, since it is the kids museum, we really want them to actually it, they should be free, but you have to keep the lights on. Hence, that's why sometimes, you know, we do charge the parents to come through, but the kids are free. And so it's accessible and affordable for all families to really come through. I mean, we are one of the most reasonably priced museums in town. The welcoming environment of learning in a way that is tailored to how kids take in new information allows them to better understand the importance of the battle. Well, I feel the museum is for the kids to discover that uh, life was very similar back then to today. Uh, kids drive, or riding around in the car looking at empty fields really don't understand what happened here. Whereas when they can come and if they really take advantage of our museum, they learn that, that there were kids back then uh, just like they are and their families were just like their families today. It's just they were caught in a, in a war situation. This was designed uh, for kids to learn that um, the people at that time who lived in town, if they were going to leave their house, they, they didn't have six months to pack up. They only had maybe 15 minutes, an hour. And so uh, well, we, they originally we were to count to 10, uh, mainly 10 seconds, and let the kids choose uh, 10 or whatever they would want to take with them if they moved. A new world of learning possibilities opens up as kids touch their first artifact. The fact that it's hands-on um, really does open itself up because we have kids that come in and look super shy and kind of don't want to look you in the eye, but they just come in, we explain the museum to them, say, hey, you can pick up anything and look at it. And by the end of it, they've completely opened themselves up. More information is available on their website, which can be found by searching for Children of Gettysburg 1863 in your browser. Learning is a lifelong pursuit. Starting that journey early welcomes everyone to enjoy the stories of the past. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Lindsay Over. Because they can. With Gettysburg being a town full of action, this grows the opportunity for welcoming everyone in the community. Thank you for watching. For Hemfield Happenings, I'm Lizzie Pegg. And I'm Savannah Miller. Hello everyone, my name is Matt Bender and I'm the ComTech teacher here at Hemfield High School. Part of my job is to oversee all the productions that our students create during the school year. You're watching one of them, Hemfield Happenings, but they also produce a weekly YouTube show and create content for social media. You can find all of that if you search for HSD TV 7 either on YouTube or online. As you just saw, our students traveled to Gettysburg in mid-January, just before the snow. There they used only eight hours to create the brief news show you just saw centered on inclusion. In addition to that, another group of students had the same amount of time to take their first crack in creating a short film using a journal as a prop and the theme pretend. We'll share that with you now, and following the film, senior Liv Anderson will walk you through some other films they made for a contest last fall. stupid. I can't believe Miss Baker's making us do this. I know. I don't even care about the Civil War. Guys, this is the only thing that's going to bring our grade up. We're failing the class. What's that? Give it to me. Some sort of diary. Wait, look, there's writing. Let's check this book out. I want to read it. I think this is a soldier's journal. It must be from the Civil War. Maybe it'll help us with our project. Yeah. Father gave me permission to join the war, finally. 
I'm nervous but proud to support and protect my family, although I'm not sure what to expect. I pray that my friends and I stay safe. I'm proud to do this for my country. I hope to serve my country well. Wait, wasn't there a fire engine from that day? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think that was the second day of the battle. Today was the most traumatic day of my life. I never would have imagined the awful things I saw today. I'm not sure if I can continue this. Everything is replayed in my mind. I can't get it out. I don't know if I'll ever be the same. Yours truly, William Richardson. I never thought it could get any worse. The amount of blood I've seen was unreal. I did something awful today. I killed a man brutally with my bayonet. I'm just trying to remind myself that I did a bad thing for a good reason. I'm not sure if I will ever recover. I never thought I'd be in this position. Again, I didn't think things could get any worse, but they did. I don't think I can even write about this right now. I'm dreading my life after this is all over. Wait, look! Is that the only I'm going to ask, the answer is no. Yeah. Nicholas, Robert, Michael. I don't think William's here. Hello, I'm Liv Anderson, a senior student in Comtech 7 at Hempfield High School. In early November, a group of five other students and myself took a van out to Springfield, Missouri to visit our sister school, Hillcrest High School. While there, we also participated in the Academy of Scholastic Broadcasting's fourth state competition, which was held on the campus of Southwest Missouri State. During the two-day event, the six of us competed in eight competitions. In our first competition, we were given 76 hours to create our first ever stop motion film. We learned a lot, and it stars Hendrix, our program's mascot, getting his full circle moment. All right, we have everything. We have the cameras, we have the mics and tripods, SD cards, yeah, stuff like that. All of that. Cool. Okay, that was tiring. Let's go. I'm so great. You're done with that. Tired. That over with. For real. <sighs> Comtech 2 produces a daily live news show for the students every day. As part of that class, in the fall, senior Landon Brenner created a set of stop motion videos as well. In fact, the one he made for the Halloween show won him a second place national award for the Student Television Network in short comedy film. Here's his entry. Good afternoon, my friends. As you all may know, we're all very terrifying beings. Unfortunately, one of our co-workers has been taken out. I would like whoever was last with Sammy to confess what they did. Oh, great. Oh, man, not Sam. What a shame. None of you are in trouble. As long as you admit it, we all have our moments, but does not give you an excuse to attack one of our own. Invisible man, cut that out. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. I've always liked his mask. Can I have it? No, I want it. There's only one way to settle it. We have to play a game. Could the two of you please focus? No one's gonna confess what they did. 
I certainly wouldn't, even though it wasn't me. But uh, hello, Cassidy is right here. It was obviously him. Oh, please, don't try and pin on me. I bet it was you, Red Licorice. I'll send you back to the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> oh, why did I invite them? Can't we just call Dracula? I'm sure he can solve this issue. I tried. He's on vacation. It is beautiful. Hey, I wonder what the other monsters are doing. Sammy's a kid, so I'm gonna guess it's the man in the child's entertainment suit. I'd agree with you if you weren't the one that always hung out with that little rascal. I think we should direct our eyes to the shape-shifting cloud in the room. I feed off fear. Sammy wasn't afraid of anything. Um, actually, Sammy hated sharks. You're right. It must have been Jason. <laughs> Jason can't even swim, you fool. He was Jaws. That doesn't even make any sense. I agree with Chuck. Thank you, Jigs. The Babatu hasn't said anything yet. Very suspicious. Cause you can't, numbskull. Can we acknowledge Michael's new haircut? Like, what is that? Have you looked in a mirror lately? Not at all. Bloody Mary doesn't want me to. I feel ya. Samara Morgan doesn't let me watch TV. I don't have my body with me at the moment, but if I did, I'd be pointing at the thing on the other side of the table. Thing? Oh, come on, Jack. You're not even relevant anymore. Oh, no, you take that back. Slenderman, walk me over to him so I can bump him off the table. Please. Bickering will not get us to our goal right now. Or tell us why we can't assume it's you. I brought it to your attention. Why would it be me? <laughs> Self-report. I... I hate you. Can we express the elephant in the room? Invisible man's mom's out of town. What? What? No. That guy. He's uglier than Pennywise. Jerk. I've been here since 1987. The of and I have zero idea who that is. Vecna ain't here to help, so let's let the Demogorgon talk to him. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Whatever. Does anyone have ideas? What's he pointing at? It's Spawn. Did anything even happen? This is pointless. I'm out of here. Where are you going? Away from- Oh! I thought that only really happened in your movies. Ugh, now we know who he took out. I'll go get his mom a postcard. Oh, for the love of Satan. While in Missouri, I was part of a team responsible for finding and filming a story about senior athletics. We traveled to Kickapoo High School to create this story. <laughs> With the fall season coming to a close, senior athletes realize how much more than just a game football truly is. Lyman Mike Schaefer shares his thoughts on playing as a senior this year. I've always wanted to play football. You know, growing up I was around it. So you just fall in love with the sport and then playing it competitively. It's a different experience and it's just, I'm not ready to give it up. Through my whole high school experience, I was a football player, you know? So it's kind of like you have to find a new identity of who you are. You can't like say, oh, I'm a football player. You have to come up with someone else now. So. Coaching the team as a whole is extremely rewarding, but Coach Edgar always finds a special connection with his senior class. It's always great coaching seniors because they've been in the program. You know, some of them have been in for a year, others have been in for three years. So it's important uh, to just see their growth and their maturation over the years. And you really get to know them. And, you know, there are certain instances where things have happened in their life, uh, either great or unfortunate. And it's just, it's awesome to see their growth as people and to know that you played a small, small role in that. Oh, Football has the capability to bring the team together on a level way beyond the physical contact of the sport. Yeah, the best part about being a coach is the relationships, without a doubt. You know, uh, I always tell the players, and again, whether it's right or wrong, uh, I say, you know, you might not remember your second period government class, but, you know, you're going to remember your football team, your teammates, your coaches, and it always gives you something to come back to. Finding that connection with people, you know, is something really special, and not a lot of people get to find that connection with people, so... If you meet a group of people that you just feel comfortable around, don't take it for granted. Hey, embrace it all. You know, be yourself around them because they're going to accept you. It's not really all about the football. It's more about the connections you make.
As the season ends, the seniors will take their lessons learned and connections made to kick off their careers for the future. Reporting for ASB4 State, I'm Liv Anderson. <laughs> On campus, I also had another opportunity to learn about someone's cultural heritage while completing a news story based on the theme of cultural roots. In the ever-changing world we live in, it's important to implement the cultural roots that made society what it is today. Guests at Missouri State University discuss the purpose for spreading their roots in a less culturally exposed environment. Trying to keep Native American culture alive, keep pride in the people, the Native Americans, and just celebrate what we have to offer. A lot of people feel like Natives are a part of history, but you have to remember we're a dynamic culture and we're growing and changing and we're still here, we're not gone. Regardless of one's background, culture is always something that can be celebrated. Well, I'm not full blood. I'm only about a quarter Cherokee, but I kind of identify with the spirit that all of this represents. Teaching this culture to our children and our extended family and stuff like that reminds them of what their, where their roots are from. In a world full of differences, people need to respect the roots that make others who they are. We need to try and get along. There's too much hate in the world. We're not here to, you know, take over the world or take over the U.S. We're just trying to get along with people. Just respecting that um, every culture has, you know, differences and changes and just understanding and trying to understand each other's differences and trying to find the commonality that you have so that you can find a peace instead of fighting each other or putting each other down for any other reason. Let's just lift each other up and so we start trying to stay positive. By coming together and continuing to spread and love cultural differences beside our own, we can solve the root to many more problems. Reporting for ASB4 State, I'm Liv Anderson. When we arrived late in the evening after our long drive, our first on-site contest was called Early Bird Madness. For this contest, we had four hours to create a short film using a specific prop. Here's the short titled Emerson's Food. I thought you said you were going to take care of that. I thought you were going to take care of it. Sam, I'm going to need you to calm down. Okay, okay, okay. What if we turn the box into a paper boat to give to him for his birthday tomorrow because I bet you didn't get him something. That's crazy. Crazy brilliant. Okay. Help me make the boat. Good call. What are you goobers doing? Oh, hey, Emerson, we're just, uh, we're... We're in intense game of some battle. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, because it looks like you just took the chick of a that I bought and that you probably ate and turned it into a paper boat for a birthday present for my birthday because I bet you goobers didn't get anything from me. No, 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 no. No, of course not. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it. That was a close one. Hey, this is my Chick-fil-A. For another ASB contest, students had to take previously shot professional footage to tell a unique story. Here's their result called Shadows.
finally, our entire group participated in one final film contest where we were required to use a can of shaving cream as part of the narrative. We are proud of our second place finish. We will end our show with Judah's Map. A new Henfield Happenings crew will return next month. Thanks for watching. What's up, nerd? Okay, first of all, you can shut up. Second of all, I need the SD cards you have to edit the 76 hour challenge, okay? No, I don't have the SD card. Judah, I put them in the bag. Yes, you do. Okay, here, hold on, let me look. All that's near is shaving cream. No, 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 it's in the side pocket. I found the SD card, but I'm not going all the way over to you. You can come find me. <sighs> okay, fine. You gotta watch your back after this, though. Where are you? Uh, you know, I don't, I don't actually know. Okay, hold on, um, let me just draw a map. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna send you the picture. Huh? Judah, what do you expect me to do with this? Lizzie, it's a map. I mean, use your eyes. Okay, I see that, but like, I can barely tell where North is on this thing. Okay, fine. I'll just give you directions. Okay, okay. If you see like a tree, like go towards the tree and then to the left, and then you'll probably see another tree. What took you so long? Look out! 